welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti vari bharti संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलं जगत चरी करती वरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ समास इन संस्कृत नेमली द अव्यय भाव बहुव्रीही एंड द द्वंद्वा समास करेंटली वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन द अव्ययी भाव समास विच इज एन एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ समास इन संस्कृत द फीचर्स ऑफ द अव्ययी भाव समास कैन बी एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ सिंपल इक्वेशन मेन्शन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड वेर यू हैव एक्स एंड वाई टू इनपुट्स टू इंडिपेंडेंट सेपरेट एंटिटीज in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent the plus sign in between x and y shows that they are semantically interrelated now the speaker of sanskrit chooses to merge both these x and y together and form an output in the form of x y which is one unit one unit in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent so xy is one word xy has got one meaning and xy will get one accent x and y are independent as far as the word is concerned as far as their meaning is concerned and both of them they have as an input they have independent separate accent now xy being a being an avyayi bhav samas being an output we can say that it has got some correlation with its constituents namely x and y now in x and y now in xy which is an avyayi bhav samas x is shown to be in the bold characters precisely to highlight the fact that x acts as the head of xy unit now this is called avyayi bhava samasa and an avyayi bhava samasa is also called as avyaya by the sutra avyayi bhavascha so xy is also an avyaya invariably x in the avyayi bhav is an avyaya and y is not an avyaya of course with some exceptions and now x y both they are termed as avyaya so anavyayam avyayam bhavati this is the meaning of the word avyayi bhavaha so x y as one word has got three features aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadata and aikasmarya or ekasparata in the ashtadhyayi the core of the grammar of panini and the grammatical tradition of panini avyayi bhava samasa is dealt with at different places so for example the samasa vidhayaka sutras namely the sutras which prescribe the compound sutras which prescribe the conditions in which this compound takes place in 2.1 to be precise 
from 2.1.5 which is avyayi bhavaha up to anya padarthe cha saudnyayam which is 2.1.21 this is a small section in which the compound prescribing sutras related to the avyayi bhava samasa are stated and we have studied all these sutras in this particular course incidentally a2122 is tatpurushaha and from 2122 onwards the compound prescribing sutras related to the tatpurusha samasa are stated and we have studied them in the first course on samasa in this particular series then the samasa anta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras namely the sutras which prescribe a suffix at the end of the samasa they are stated as far as the avyayi bhava samasa is concerned in a small section that begins with 54107 and goes up to 54112 and then the sutras prescribing the accent of the avyayi bhava samasa they are stated in 62 notably 62121 etc this is how avyayi bhava samasa is treated in the ashtadhyayi currently we are focused on the study of the samasanta pratyaya the pratyaya the suffix that is added at the end of the pratyaya and we have already studied some sutras like avyayi bhave sharat prabhrutibhya etc now we'll focus on this sutra 54110 namely nadi pavarnamasi agrahayani bhya this sutra this we shall study in this particular lecture nadi pavarnamasi agrahayani bhya has got only one word namely nadi pavarnamasi agrahayani bhya which is panchami bahuvachana 5/3 this particular word has got three constituents nadi pavarnamasi and agrahayani nadi is river pavarnamasi is the full moon night and agrahayani is the full moon night of the margashirsha month so immediately after them that is the meaning of this word words continued are touch from 5491 समासांताः फ्रॉम 5468 प्रत्ययः फ्रॉम 311 अव्ययी भावे व्हिच इज सप्तमी एकवचन फ्रॉम द सूत्र अव्ययी भावे शरत प्रभृतिभ्यः व्हाट इट मींस इज इन द अव्ययी भाव समास आल्सो कंटिन्यूड इज द वर्ड अन्यतरस्याम ऑल दीस पुट टुगेदर the meaning of the sutra is the following in the avyayi bhava samasa immediately after the words nadi pavarnamasi and agrahayani the samasanta suffix touch is added optionally i repeat in the avyayi bhava samasa immediately after the words nadi pavarnamasi and agrahayani the samasanta suffix touch is added optionally i repeat in the avyayi bhava samasa avyayi bhave immediately after the words nadi pavarnamasi and agrahayani nadi pavarnamasi agrahayani bhya the samasanta suffix touch touch samasanta pratyaya is added optionally anyatarasyam let us look at the example when the meaning to be conveyed is near the river the laukika vigraha is nadyah samipam nadyah samipam now the avyayi bhava samasa takes place in this sense on account of the sutra avyayam vibhakti samip so in the sense of samip avyaya up is compounded with the word nadi since the word avyaya is mentioned in prathama in the sutra avyayam vibhakti the avyaya 
becomes upasarjana and by the sutra upasarjanam purvam the avyaya occupies the initial position of the samasa so we have upaplasu plus nadi plus nas as the alaukika vigraha so samasa saudhnya takes place after which we have samasanta suffix touch added so we have upaplasu plus nadi plus nas plus a touch and then the samasa saudhnya takes place the pratipadika saudhnya takes place and supo dhatu pratipadika yoho applies which deletes both the sups su and nas and so we have upa plus 0 plus nadi plus 0 plus a touch is a and when we join them together before that we apply yasya teacher and drop e in nadi so we get the form upa plus 0 plus nad ending in the plus zero because we deleted this long e by the sutra yasya teacher so we have upa plus zero plus nad plus zero plus a and when we join them together we get the form upa nad which is the finally derived compound output the avyayi bhava samasa when we decide to use it in the sentence we add the suffix su after it so we have upanada plus su and generally because upanada is an avyayi bhava samasa therefore it is termed as avyaya by the sutra avyayi bhava stu so any su pratyaya added after this avyaya is deleted on account of the sutra avyayi avyayad ap supaha but there is an exception to this namely navyayi bhavat atomva panchamyaha which means that if an avyayi bhava samasa ends in short a then the su added after it is not deleted rather it is substituted by am so we have upanada plus su and then it gets substituted by upanada plus am and when we apply the sandhi rules over here we get the form upanadam and avibhava samasa used in the sentence upanadam optionally the same laukika vigraha nadyaha samipam will get the alaukika vigraha upa plus su and nadi plus nas which is same now here we don't add the touch suffix earlier we added the touch suffix here and we got the form upanad and upanadam now we don't add the suffix touch so what happens is upa plus 0 plus nadi plus 0 and so we join them together we get the form upanadi now upanadi is an avyayi bhava samasa and avyayi bhava samasa is an avyaya and avyayi bhava samasa is also denoting napumsaka gender by the sutra avyayi bhavascha and therefore we shorten this long e into short e so we get upanadi as the finally derived compound output now when we add the suffix su after upanadi this su gets deleted by the sutra avyayadap sapaha and so we get the form upanadi so when we use it in the sentence to express the meaning the village is near the river upanadam उपनदी ग्रामो वर्तते उपनदम उपनदी ग्रामो वर्तते द विलेज इज नियर द रिवर दिस कैन बी एक्सप्रेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ द अव्ययी भाव समास उपनदम एज वेल एज उपनदी सिमिलरली व्हेन द मीनिंग टू बी एक्सप्रेस इज नियर द फुल मून नाइट द लौकिक विग्रह इज पौर्णमास्या समीपम once again because of the sutra avyayam vibhakti samipa the compound takes place so upa gets the upasarjana saudhnya and therefore it occupies the initial position of the compound so we have upa plus su plus pournamasi plus nas this is the alaukika vigraha so this is termed as samasa so immediately we add the samasanta suffix touch to it so upa plus su plus pournamasi plus nas plus touch then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho 
which deletes both the subs. So we have upa plus 0 plus paurana C plus 0 plus a, a is touch and so we have upa paurana mass plus a upa paurana mass a. So from paurana mass C to paurana mass a, we travel by deleting the final E on account of the suter yes teacher. So we get the finally derived form namely upa paurana mass a. Now when we add the suffix su after it, normally by the sutra avyadap supaha, su should be deleted, but because of the exception sutra, namely navyai bhavat atom to panchamyaha, this su is not deleted, rather it is substituted by am, so we have upapurnamasa plus am, and then the sandhi rules takes place, and so we get the form upapurnamasam. Upapurnamasam. Now optionally, when we don't add the suffix touch and the meaning is near the full moon night, we have the alaukika vigraha upa plus su plus pauranamasi plus nas and the laukika vigraha is pauranamasyaha samipam, same as before. Alaukika vigraha is also same as before. The only difference is that here we don't add the suffix touch. So what happens is upa plus zero plus pauranamasi plus zero on account of the application of the sutra, supodhatup pratipadika yoho, and then Pauranamasi has got a long e in it at the end, which gets shortened because upa Pauranamasi is an avyayi bhava samasa, and an avyayi bhava samasa is termed as avyaya, and also it denotes napumsakalinga by the sutra avyayi bhavascha. So after this we apply the sutra Draspon Apamsake Pratipadigasya and so this Upa Pauranamasi is shortened and we get the form Upa Pauranamasi. After this we add the suffix su which is deleted by the sutra Avyayadapsupaha. So we get Upa Pauranamasi plus zero and we get Upa Pauranamasi. What it means is near the full moon night. So when we use it in the sentence, we get the sentence, he or she goes to a sacred place near the full moon night. And this is expressed by the sentence, upapauranamasam upapauranamasi tirthangachati. Upapauranamasam upapauranamasi tirthangachati. Next we have the word Agrahayani. So the meaning of Agrahayani is full moon night of the month of Margashirsha. And when we say near the full moon night of the month of Margashirsha, we have the Laukika Vigraha, namely Agrahayanyaha Samipam. Now the Sutra Avayam Vibhakti Samipa Samriddhi Vridhyartha Bhavatyaya Shabda Pradurbhava Paschat Yathanupurpas Purvya Sadrishya Sampatti Sakalyanta Vachaneshu, this sutra applies and in the sense of Samipa, the Avyayi Bhava Samasa takes place. So we have Upa plus Su plus Agrahayani plus Ngas. So since Avyaya is mentioned in Prathama, in the sutra Avyayam Vibhakti, Samipa, etc., Avyaya becomes Upasarjana and then by the sutra Upasarjanam Purvam, it occupies the initial position of the Samasa. That's why Upa occupies the initial position of the Samasa. So we have Upa plus Su plus Agrahayani plus Nasa and then this is the Alaukika Vigraha. So the Samasa Saudhnya takes place and then because of that we add the suffix touch over here. So we have Upa plus Su plus Agrahayani plus Nas plus touch and then the Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho, which deletes both the sups. So we have upa plus zero plus agrahayani plus zero plus a, and then we have the, the sutra yasya teacher applying, which deletes e, long e, in agrahayani, and so we have upa plus zero plus agrahayan plus zero plus a, and when we join these together, we get the form upa agrahayana. Upa Agrahayana and when the Sandhi takes place we get the form 
upagrahayana now when we add the suffix su after it we normally would delete it because upagrahayana is an avyayi bhava samasa in other words it is an avyaya so avyaya dhap supaha would apply but there is an exception sutra navyayi bhavat atom to panchamya because of which su is not deleted and rather it is substituted by am so we have upagrahayana plus am and when we join them together we get the form upagrahayanam this is what is used in the sentence optionally that is when we don't add the samasanta suffix touch the meaning to be expressed is near the full moon night of the month of the markashirsha we have the laukika vigraha agrahayanyaha samipam same as before and the alaukika vigraha is also same as before namely upa plus su plus agrahayani plus ngas the reasons for upa occupying the initial position are the same same as before so we have the samasa saudnya taking place so pratipadika saudnya also takes place then we apply the sutra supadhatu pratipadika yo so we have upa plus 0 plus agrahayani plus 0 and then we get the form upa agrahayani and then we apply the sandhi rule and we get the form upa agrahayani now when we add the suffix su after upa agrahayani we apply the avyaya saudnya since avyayi bhav samasa is an avyaya so we apply the sutra avyaya dap supaha and we delete su and so we get the form upa agrahayani plus 0 and then we get the final form upagrahayani which is the form of the compound in the sentence so when we use the sentence namely upagrahayanam or upagrahayani shishiro vartate the season of shishira is near the full moon night of the month of margashirsha in order to express this we can use both options upagrahayanam और उपाग्रहायणी शिशिरो वर्तते टू समराइज द वर्ड नदी स्टैंड्स फॉर इट्स ओन फॉर्म एंड नॉट फॉर द नेम्स ऑफ रिवर व्हिच इज व्हाट इज जनरली एक्सेप्टेड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द सेपरेट मेंशन ऑफ द अदर टू वर्ड्स इन द सूत्र नेमली आग्रहायणी एंड पौर्णमासी so on account of the separate mention of these two other words this sutra deals with specific word forms and does not deal with a generalized data generalized idea the rule based system of grammar does contain some rules for example the nadi is a technical term which denotes the feminine gender forms which n in long e which always denote feminine gender so that is a general application but in this sutra there is a specific application with respect to specific words the word nadi the word agrahayani and the word pournamasi so in the rule based system of panyan grammar there are some rules of this kind and it is very interesting to study how panyani deals with them so we continue studying the next sutra stating the samasanta pratyaya with reference to the avyayi bhava samasa next these are the texts referred to thank you very much